Hey guys, Fennel here. Today I'm together with Dico. Yep, hello. And we have made this two out of the floor bud switch. So Dico's gonna walk you through it, how it works, and he's gonna do the tutorial as well. <laughs> well, we just put a torch on this block here, and you see the vision detects the block updates, and then that goes through the dropper, which also detects the block updates. So that's going to shoot the item into the hopper here, and then activate the system through that comparator there and uh, that's in very short terms how it works because it's actually a lot more complicated than I just what I just described because it actually needs to bud the dropper in off state so it thinks that it's off but it's actually powered and the piston should be thinking it's off no it's on while it's not so it's kind of complicated to do so you see we have one bud powering the piston here and one bud powering the dropper here and um, well, that's basically all there is to it. Um, so now I'm going to run you through the tutorial, and uh, let's see, uh, I don't know if you want to build it or something, but uh, yeah, maybe it's very cool for your base or something. So, to start off, you want to place your sticky piston with a block on top of it and surround it with your floor blocks, and then underneath it, place a dropper facing sideways with a hopper in front of it. Place that hopper with shift click onto into the dropper so they will face into each other. Oh. And then from the side of the dropper, take a comparator output into a block, and then into a repeater. Uh, it's going to face into another block. And then on one side, you're going to place two redstone dust, and on the back, a torch. And on the other side, you're going to place one redstone dust and a repeater. Then we're going to place a block beside or on the back of the dropper here. So that's going to be butting the piston. And then down here, we're going to place a redstone block with the redstone on top of it, like that. And that's going to bud the dropper there. Then you can place the sticky piston here, with two blocks like so. We'll place the detector reel later. And then underneath this block here, a redstone dust. With a comparator on the side of it, set that to subtractor mode. And then place the redstone repeater right there. A sticky piston coming off of that redstone dust right there, with a redstone block. Then place a block there, and two blocks down here. Two redstone right there, and then that block will cut off the power, so the power from up here will not travel down into red the redstone down there. Then grab a furnace and the tech rail, place your furnace right there, and put any random item inside of it, and then place your detector rail right there. And then lastly, we're going to place our block there. And uh, uh, One and more then... thing, you have to place a block there and a torch. Yeah, that's true. forgot about that. Um, and then just place your item inside of the dropper. So then just replace this block and you see it will work. So if we grab a torch, see your redstone. And it extends again. Now do make sure not to update this too quickly because the piston is going to break. And um, sorry about the Skype sound right there, but uh, whatever. So you can take your output from wherever you want. This will work. Um, everything which basically toggles the redstone signal. So rather not from the redstone block because then it's not going to work, because that's never going to turn off, basically. And if anything goes wrong and you want to reset it, just be sure to replace, just remove and replace that block, and it should all reset just fine. Yep. So, um, I hope you guys like this build and this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.